Yeah, we got a little. I hear the thunder. <clears throat> there are, man, if I could tell you all about all the things that are going on in our government, what's happening, like I say, with our banking, our food, our money, our president, all the corruption, things that are falling apart, the, the deal over uh, in Europe, like I was talking about, there's a multitude of things that people really need to get on board with. And the first easiest thing you can do is just start finding all the numbers around you for your mayor, your city council members, uh, your mayor and all. I mean, I, I can't put that type of information out because they would screw with me because that is being able to mess with a politician and all that kind of stuff. But you have to do it yourself where you live that's going to be the only way they're going to listen to anything anybody vote them out pay attention you know and with all these drag shows and all these some bums better be glad i don't have any kids left in in schools because it's uh it would not be easy for them i can tell you that much i still have grandbabies in schools most of them are you know, old enough to where they know better. I've been teaching them for a very long time. I've got a 15 year old grandson that are 16 now, and he wants to be a history teacher just because he's finding out things that are not the way the news is spinning them. Hear that boy get a lot of... Yeah, I hear that thunder, clouds moving in. Yeah, talk about tennis ball size hell. Wow. Well, we don't think it's going to get that low for us because we're a little bit further south. But one thing that uh, you know that I'm I'm trying to tell everybody is they're squashing me even more because the things like I'm telling you. And the places where to go find the information that I know of so you can see it for yourself. They don't want you knowing that. And from the liberal hive mind to Mark Dice, he's another one. He and the liberal hive mind, they are uh, they're mega bookworms, okay? They like to read of all the stuff and they know where to look at the government websites and it tells you everything what they're doing there is nothing our government can do without it being documented some way somehow just for legal government type purchases you see what i'm saying so it's going to take people getting in your politicians wazoos and let them know that you're aware, you know what they are, who they're with, what they're doing, and how many kickbacks are they getting. That's the simplest, quickest, easiest thing that you can do. Don't worry about the big picture because there's the big picture is made up by a bunch of little things. And the little things are the stuff that we can do across our country. So, stand up, speak out, don't be scared, don't be scared. You got to get out of your safe space and your own little world before it literally comes crashing down. Because that's the only thing is for evil to triumph. It's for good men and good women, good people, to, is to do nothing. That's the only way that they will triumph over us if we sit and do nothing. So, little bit by little bit. You know, it doesn't, don't threaten anybody. Just tell them, hey, I know what you're doing. We know who you're with. We know who's paying you. We know how you're getting kickbacks and all that. And we know that right there from your mayor, the whole nine yards, all the political people, 
that's what you need to do everybody needs to realize it's a bunch of little things that happen to where that can make the biggest change so work on it don't be scared have a spine have some guts about you that's what it's going to take later